Good afternoon, and how's everybody doing? This is New Era Gardener, and uh, I'm gonna do a video on uh, doing some bedding. But this time I'm gonna switch it up, and I'm gonna make a different type of bedding that I'm gonna test out, see how it does. Um, with worm farming, we're always using different things. The main one being coconut core. Um, but I want to try something a little different. A lot of times when I do my coconut core bedding and things like that, coconut core is one of uh, one of the best things to use. Holds a lot of moisture. Um, the worms will eat it as as they uh, start to go through it. But the problem is, I'll show you. I have some some coconut core. Give me a second. A lot of times when you clean out your bins with coconut core, this is what you get left with. Big pieces of coconut core that didn't break down. Um, so you get a lot of this. Mine's actually mixed with some biochar and whatever else it didn't get broken down. This is what it is dry. And of course, if you're selling your worm castings as I do, I don't put this in my castings my finished product is definitely the finer stuff so this is after you do a I do a uh, quarter inch and an eighth inch screen so that's what you get left with now I mean coconut core is good it does break down and uh, that's why we call it worm compost uh, because it's whatever our bedding is, plus the castings. Um, so I'm gonna try something different this time. I still will use the coconut core, use the newspaper and the paper, but I'm gonna use a couple other things. So I'm gonna just go through making it. Um, this is gonna be just pretty much all newspaper. Some newspaper I shredded up. Just a regular shred. That should be enough. So I'm gonna also add in my coconut core as the moisture. I'm not saying I'm not gonna use coconut core, but what I'm saying is I'm not gonna use as much coconut core as I usually would. Usually when I do a, uh, a batch, I usually do one batch at a time. I do enough to fill one, one bin. So this is coconut core. I need something to still hold the moisture. I don't want soggy, wet. So I'm just going to mix this up with the newspaper. It's going to moisten the wet, moisten the uh, newspaper. So this is about a half of a coconut core brick. I mean, you see how that just moistened the newspaper? So, that's what I'm going to just do. Just mix it around. It coats it. It moistens it. I didn't have any more uh, cardboard. So, I just used the newspaper. 
all newspaper. And I just mix that up real good. And I'm still gonna add in all the same minerals that I add usually. So, I'm gonna add in some ground crab meal. That's probably about a half a cup. Mix that up. Like I always say, what you put in is what you get out. So, add a little bit in there, plus like I said, when you're using a lot of newspaper, it's the chitin that you lose. So that's crab meal. For the next item, as always, two scoops actually three scoops of kelp kelp's that organic it's good for the plants good for the worms it's like a sugar for the worms so you want to put enough in there so you just want to mix it up real good so everything gets coated pretty good And I know you hear me always say that my go-to manure is alpaca. And uh, I have quite a bit. So that's what this is. That's what my new bedding adjective is going to be. Is alpaca manure. And all I did was put this in my food processor that I used to uh, shred it up and shred up my food. This is quite a bit, but I need to make enough to uh, make one full bin or at least five inches in my bin I usually go six and I'll just have to see how much I'll have to use now I just want to mix it up real good with the other minerals that I put in and uh as I go and I try this and see how this goes I actually have a bin that I have to harvest today which I'll do later on today uh, I'm gonna put this in there I mean, some people use horse manure as their bedding. I don't know if they put newspaper in it. I haven't seen anyone put newspaper or anything in it. But um, I put newspaper. I'm trying it this way, putting in newspaper. So, and, and I think this is going to work out well. Um, the nice part about this is pretty much you never have to feed your worms because they're going to eat the manure and then they're going to constantly leave deposits of worm castings. I don't know how long it'll take them to go through all this. Um, 
but I think that's enough to do one bin. And we're gonna test it, and I'll make some videos of how it's going, but this is going to be the test bin to uh, do one of my bins that I need to uh, harvest. I know what happens, and I'm not worried about the moisture content in here right now. Um, it's got good moisture, you know. The coconut core that was mixed in is gonna hold some moisture. But I don't know if you ever fed your worms any manure where they go and eat, start eating the manure, it's usually a little moist. So I, I'm not worried about the moisture content in here now. It's got a good moisture content. As you can see, it holds together real good and falls right apart when you touch it. So that's good moisture. It's kind of what you want your castings to be like in the end, you know, not wet not dry but a good moisture content um, when you put it together and you hit it it falls all apart that's good uh, moisture content but we're gonna try this and we're gonna see what this does I I don't uh, I think it's gonna do well if if I like what I'm getting from it then uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I might start to make my beds, my bedding to be 50% coconut core and, or one part coconut core and, uh, or a half part coconut core and one part manure. Um, it'll be a little more time consuming because I'll wind up having to shred the manure so, but I have bags of it. I probably have uh, probably left now, probably about still about four or five bags of alpaca manure. So, um, I don't think I'll have a problem. And I am able to get it from my supplier who has alpaca. They have about 30 alpaca. So there's not a shortage, there's not a shortage of manure, but that's what you want to kind of do. You want to play with your bedding, and uh, I'm going for the best castings I can get, and um, this is one thing that's going to also help the quality of the castings, not having so much coconut core in it, but being a little more of the manure and the uh their worm castings so i'm gonna do this and i will make another video where we're at how it's going uh, once i put them in there i'll uh let a week go by see how they're doing and then we will check on them and we're gonna check on these bins probably a couple of times during the first week and see how they're doing and uh, kind of go from there and I'll also watch the temperature alpaca manure is a cold manure but we still want to watch it just to make sure it's not heating up or anything like that and drive the worms out um, but I don't think it's gonna drive the worms out I think what's gonna happen the worms are gonna make quick work of the manure because they love to just eat all day long all the time so I think that's going to be a good thing. Um, so we'll take a look at it. We'll see where we go from there. And uh, I'll bring you guys back and we'll take a look at it. I appreciate you looking at the video, watching the video. If there's any comments about the video or what you use for, for your bedding. But this is a test of changing the bedding to a manure base um, bedding 
from a manure based bedding to a from a coconut core base I should say to a manure base um, bedding and we'll see how that goes I may have to add more newspaper to it or I may have to, or I should say paper to it because sometimes it's white regular white paper um, it might be newspaper might have to use a little more coconut core I might make a bigger batch and use one one part of the uh, coconut core one whole uh, pound and then however many pounds a full bucket of manure is and kind of see where we go from there just because I'll have to watch the manure, the uh, moisture content because I don't want it to be to get too wet either so the nice part about the um, alpaca manure is it doesn't have a smell has a has a, a regular odor as far as earthy um, they're grain fed these alpaca so they eat a lot of hay and a lot of grain so but I appreciate you guys watching and we're gonna see what this does and I'll, I might bring you back tonight once I uh, clean out the bin and put the worms back in and we'll kind of see where we go from there all right thank you for watching this is new era gardener neg and this is uh my worm farm bedding